so much for welcoming me to this incredible Asia Comic Con. Make some noise for her, she's incredible. Thank you. All right, well, before we go into the topics about anime, before we talk about music, can you please tell us, is this the first time you here in Malaysia? This is my first time in Malaysia, yes. So, now is the second day or the third day, or how many days you have, you have come to Malaysia? How many what? How many days you have been here in uh, Malaysia? I've been here for three days. Mm -hmm. This is the third day. We got Thursday night, ah. and we went out for dinner. We went to the Durant. the Twin Corn Towers. <laughs> Twin Towers. Yes, yes. Twin and uh, oh, we had traditional Malaysian food, and then we had Chinese food, mm -hmm. and then today we just had Thai food. Well, you know what? We also got a very popular traditional fruit in Malaysia. Yes, I had it last night. How was it? It was spiritual. <laughs> Well, uh, can, Dur you, can you please elaborate spiritual? Yes. The durian is a connected fruit to the history of uh, Malaysia, yes? Yes. And I, I don't understand exactly why it's so special, but when you eat a little bit, you are connected in a way that goes through your whole body, down into the ground, through the ground, and up into the other trees that are all throughout the country, you feel connected. Okay, so is this the first time? Was this the first time? This was the first time, and I still taste it. Okay, would you like to go for still, one tonight? Still on my hands, how do you get this stuff off? No, would you like to go for one more round tonight? One more round of durian? Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I had the durian ice cream as well, which is, uh, which is very good if you like that. Ooh. It's the very best, like no durian ever was. But there's so many different types. I was afraid to eat more than two in one sitting. You have, and then you get sick, right? And then you, you, you explode if you eat too many types. But there's 10 different, 12 different types of this thing. I have to stay here for one month in order to try them all. But, but it will happen after Asia Comic Con Malaysia 2019. You know why? What? Because we don't want you to get sick. We don't want you to get healthy. Because of durian. Yeah, what is the, there's some things you're not allowed to eat after you eat the durian, right? Uh, beer. No beer. Yeah. That's all right, I'm not drinking any beer. Very good. Well, we're not going to talk about alcohol, but we would like to focus more on music today right here in Asia Comic Con, yes. Malaysia 2019. As we all know, you are the singer for the Pokemon theme song. And this oh, no, is... No, 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 no. I'm the singer of... Subway Eat Fresh! <laughs> That's why I'm here, right? Yes. Oh, Subway. 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 Oh, oh, Pokemon. Yes. Yeah. So, so speaking about Pokemon, um, where's, where's this song, the first song you sing in the anime song? Yes, this is the first song that I sang in the anime world. However, you might know that not in addition to Subway Eat Fresh, I also sing Lego Mania, Lego Mania. If you like Lego, you may have played with Lego before. Pokemon, yes. 1996, I sang Lego Mania. I also sang the Quick 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 which is the paper towels. And I also sang when you get nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea, hey Pepto Max. You know, many different things. Yes, so but but in the anime world, this is the first song that I've sung for anime. But my favorite anime, as I told you, was Go Speed Racer! Go Speed Racer! Go! Yes, that actually surprised me. It looks like it looks like Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So when I saw Pokemon in the 1998, they showed us the, the Pokemon show from Japan, and I said it looks like Speed Racer. It's Speed Ash is like a young Speed Racer. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, I love this. I love this. I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. Okay, so let's uh, not talk about so much on Pokemon since you are already um, a very talented singer before Pokemon song was out. So can you please tell us in your music industry which part is your is the part that you are very proud of and you feel the happiest of? In the music industry. In the music industry. Uh, in um, 2001, I sang backgrounds with. This guy right here. 
here. I sang backgrounds with Michael Jackson. Yes. At the 2001 30th anniversary of Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five. And I was able to I solo in that show as well. And I actually have a song that I prepare that I'm going to sing to, 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 to recreate the experience of the Michael Jackson show at Madison Square Garden, yeah. It was an incredible experience. Michael Jackson was one of my favorite people growing, growing up. Still, to this day, one of the best artists on the planet. And I, I noticed that on my YouTube channel, on the Jason Page YouTube channel, under the Pokemon video, many people say, oh, I thought it was Michael Jackson who sang the Pokemon theme song. Oh. No. <laughs> but I'm very influenced by Michael Jackson. Your face 
flashbacking on my Just wait, can I, first, before, can I get a question from the audience? I, okay. have, wait, wait, I, have, I have stickers that I got. This is my Catch the Worm with a Throw sticker. Okay. And I just want to get a question from an audience member, maybe? Okay, so we can do a Q&A session right here. So guys, if you have any questions uh, to Jason, feel free to put up your hand if we can come to you. So, so. And you give her this. Okay, so she will raise the questions here. Yes, what yes. is the question and what's her name? What is her name? Isabel. Hi, Isabel. Isabel. Um, do you like furries? Do you like furries? Yes, I like furries. I'm cold right now and I wish I had a furry to, to, to snuggle up against. Uh, high Dragon, I'm a new High Dragon clan fan because High Dragon has many, many heads and can do many things at one time. And one more question. Yes, right here. All right, the name's Andy. Hi, Andy. So, well, you think the first uh, iconic company for Pokemon, right? Yeah. And I just wonder, is it the fact that this just happened and for those who don't want Pokemon yet, yeah, but what do you feel when Ash won the Yes, yes! Finally, Ash Pokemon won! This is what we were waiting for for 20 years. And we're going to celebrate right now! Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you, Jason Pratt! Ash won! Ash won!
because it's feeding back into my mic, these guys. Um, I sang backgrounds with Michael Jackson, and there were many artists that performed with him and performed before him, and when they got to black and white, you know the song black and white? They said, who's gonna do the rap? Who, we didn't have an artist to do the rap, so I put up my hand and I said, I can do the rap. So, yes. But in the Michael Jackson show, Michael Jackson is on the stage and the background singers are up there in the back, back, back of the stage. So nobody could see me. So this is the first time I'm going to perform the Michael Jackson rap live while I do black and white. Here we go.
because I'm on Team Mystic. Okay, okay. But we have to work together. This is all about they want to divide us. Don't let them divide you. We're all on the same team. The yellow, blue, and the red makes kind of orangey green color. Uh, but I did this song. It's a Pokemon Go song. And now we have over one billion people playing this game. That's 14% of the entire world is playing this game. Now we need to get all of those people singing this song just like they sing the Pokemon theme song. Are you ready for the Pokemon Go song? Be 
If you want to come back tomorrow, it'll be a little bit different. Every time it's different, we got Pikachu may join me in a little dance move tomorrow. I love you, Kuala Lumpur. Thank you so much. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, another big round of applause for Jason. <laughs> Did you like Malaysia? What's that? Malaysia is incredible. Thank you, Malaysia. Malaysia, you come tomorrow 